I had hearing problems in one of my ears, so I just went to a doctor. We found out that I have this thing called cholesteoma. It is not exactly a tumor, but kind of infectious skin which is growing in our body and it's slowly dissolving everything around it. We were devastated, we were so scared. I had never been through any big thing like this. I was kind of not sure if my life is gonna be normal, but when I met Dr. Stankovic, she answered every single question so precisely. I could be vulnerable in front of her. I cannot emphasize enough that you need a doctor which doesn't only understand what you need medically, but that person also has to be able to support you emotionally, mentally, see what is needed. Hearing loss is a problem because it's an invisible disability that leads to social isolation, ultimately depression, anxiety. People suffer in silence, literally and figuratively. Basically, hearing loss can arise from a variety of different problems. It can be infection, trauma, genetics, noise exposure, vascular problems. When it comes to hearing loss, there are two different kinds. One is called conductive and the other is called sensory neural. And to understand the difference, we can review how we hear. When sound comes in through the ear canal where wax is made, then it vibrates the eardrum, which is located at the end of that funnel. That sets in motion the smallest bones in the body. They are called the malleus, the incus, and the stapes, which is the Latin for the hammer, the anvil, and the stir bones. And then these bones then set in motion fluids within the inner ear. So the inner ear is this organ that's encased deep in the bone. And when they are activated, then they release a neurotransmitter, which is a chemical that now sends a signal to the nerve. And now this electrical signal is sent all the way to the brain. And that's how we hear. So conductive hearing loss implies that sounds are not conducted to the inner ear. That can be because there is a hole in the eardrum or there is fluid behind it. Normally this is an air-filled space or there is something wrong with these tiny bones and that's conductive hearing loss. Sensory neural hearing loss affects the inner ear where these super delicate fine sensory cells and neurons reside and all the other cell types in the inner ear. We use a multi-pronged approach when addressing hearing loss, and that includes patient education in terms of how to position yourself in a noisy environment, where to sit in a restaurant, how to talk with your family members. It entails having people speak slower because oftentimes it's the speed rather than the intensity of voice that's a problem. Currently, the state-of-the-art frustration is that there are no drugs that are FDA approved for hearing loss. When it comes to devices, there are hearing aids. Another approach is surgery, and surgery depends on exactly what the cause of hearing loss is, whether it's conductive, we can remove fluid behind the eardrum, or if it's an inner ear type hearing, hearing loss, which is sensory neural hearing loss, then we can surgically place a cochlear implant. And there are currently more people with cochlear implants than all other neural prosthesis combined. After inserting the implant into the inner ear and turning the device on a couple of weeks later, patients really feel like it was a miracle. When people regain their hearing after a surgical intervention, they are typically just so elated and so grateful. They often talk about having their life back. It has been a life-changing event for me. I am so relieved that I don't have this disease anymore. I'm healthy, my brain is healthy, and I am able to hear better. I'm back to my normal life, and it, it's also unbelievable for me.